Okay, bathroom break, and then the frozen wet socks. <laughs> All right, let me switch this over. Um, Okay, uh, I had to switch. I wanted to switch over to the full screen for this. So these are frozen wet socks. Ow! <laughs> uh, I need to get a little towel to put underneath my feet here. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep these on. I've never done this before, but uh, we put these in. On, I was going to say yesterday, but uh, it would be the, the first. Put them in the first. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to put these on my feet or not. <laughs> what the crap. I might end up destroying them trying to get them on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't think they're going to be flexible enough to put on. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is never going to work. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're cold though. It's going to do its job just sticking my hands in there. Ah, oh, crap. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ah, that's so cold. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, man. All right, let me see if I can get this thing on. Oh my gosh, that's cold. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, that's one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, John Wilkerson says, next time you need frozen underwear. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really cold. That's really cold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if this is good for me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, ah. I can't even get it undone. It's like, it's like totally frozen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy crap. This is so cold. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I can't get it open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure this would be nothing to some of you people who live in snowy environments and get snow, wet snow in your boots. Oh, oh my gosh. 
well, my my body temperature is slowly bringing up uh, the the temperature in, of my other sock. But oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. It was popping a second ago. Oh, geez, Louise. My fingers are getting numb just trying to open this thing up. Oh, put it in the back of your neck to thaw it out, <laughs> says Nathan James Norman. Yeah, I'll bet that would do it. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Oh, I think I can shove this one on. Ugh. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ugh. And on. Oh, oh man. Oh man, that is cold. That's seriously cold. Ha. Oh, okay, okay. Well, oh, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ugh. All right, I'm going to try and reset this and and get back to the game here. Oh my gosh. Ah. Where's the thing? Ah. Good gravy! Ugh. There we go. There we go. Eek! Gosh, Whew. that was intense. That was intense. <laughs> oh, I'm glad your kids enjoyed that, John. <laughs> uh, I'm getting back into this violent game now. Uh, whew. Well, I think that's that was good. I think that will do me until the end of the stream. I didn't want to put more caffeine into my system so that hopefully I can just crash in uh, 50 minutes from now. 50 minutes. <sighs> okay. Uh, where am I going? Going here. All right. <laughs> Nathan Norman says, viewership went down while Peter put his socks on. I guess my tastes are different than others. <laughs> the Oracle for one, C for another. Don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the Oracle. You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. Hmm. If you want something done, you'll have to do it yourself. <laughs> You're right there. Can't trust the gods or their servants. So who are you? 
Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship. Good gravy. She's got a sailor's mouth on her. Yeah, watch your tongue. How about that? Malaka, I came to see if you needed help. Fuck you. <sighs> you asked you to. You know what? Fuck you. Good grief. That's a record for concentration of F-bombs in a single exchange in this game so far. I thought my business would be good and was meant to meet my family. They're nowhere to be fucking found, and I've been here since last night. Holy cow, Ubisoft. What were your writers doing with this? So where is the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew. Okay. Well. All right, I'm gonna start skipping yeah. this. Blah blah blah. It's not part of the main story anyway. I'll find out what happened. I'll find them. Great. Okay. So thank you for that. Are there any question marks I can go and discover? Why, yes, there are. Oh, let's climb this thing. Have I saved? It's been a little while since I saved. We can just do a quick save. A quick save. Yes. Oh, I gotta... I thought I did stop and restart the recording. I gotta do that really quick here. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. I can measure it in minutes. Less than an hour. It's so epic. I mean, it it goes by so fast in one sense, but then at this, when I look back, I think about... I feel like I've lived for about a week. I mean, I for 24 hours... Like... I would say, if I have a week where I just really end up, for some reason, having a lot of time every night, every night, to just play games, then that would be, let's say, and this would be like the max, three hours a night, like seven to ten, let's say. That's what, 15 hours? That's just 15 hours for like a whole, like, you know, f for five, for the, for for like the week, the, the weekdays. This is like 24 hours of playing video games. It's weird and crazy. <laughs> weird and crazy. All right. Um, oh yeah, I was climbing this thing that I never got to. I never got to the top. By the way, John, I don't think I could show myself putting on frozen underwear on a live stream. <laughs> Let's see here. What is this? What's this? Level 11. No, I'm not ready to do that. Let's check out this place. guest house, but I'm, am I not allowed to be here? Okay, I need to stay hidden. All right. Well, I'm just finding locations for now. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Nathan Norris says, well, I gotta go write my sermon. <laughs> I thought, that's gotta be a mistake. And he says, just kidding, but I do need to get going. Godspeed, Peter. Thank you so much, Nathan. Uh, God bless your efforts this morning and your and your uh, your church that you're ministering at. Um, uh, John Wilkerson says, "True, maybe a T-shirt, like a frozen T-shirt." Oh man, I don't want to take my shirt off on camera either. <laughs> too vain, too vain for that. Maybe I'll grow in character enough over the next year that I could do that. Or lose enough pounds that my vanity would not... I, yeah, I, I doubt it. <laughs> it's going to take probably a little bit of both for that to happen. Um, but that would be freaking cold if these socks were any indication. I, don't, I think that would be so cold. Like, have you ever been so cold that you almost feel like oh my like like it almost triggers like a vomit reflex or something it just this sudden like burst of cold i think that's what that would feel like um <laughs> uh, t john wilkerson says today's homily is about frozen socks <laughs> all right um now let's go to this question mark here Okay. Um, let's go. Oh, is that a different region? Oh, I guess it is kind of, isn't it? Well, should I take on another quest then? Maybe I should. Speak with the Oracle. Yeah, let's go talk. Wait, well, let's see here. Yeah, the poor is still in focus. Um, let's go see this oracle first. Oh, that's a ways away. Do I have to take a boat to get there? Probably, dang it. Ugh, I did not want to do that. Okay, well... We do what we gotta do, right? We do what we gotta do. Frozen scarf. That could work, but it seems less. Um, I don't know. It's something about putting these socks on and then forcing them onto your body, and then they're clinging to your body. I don't know if a scarf could capture that. I might just do socks again. That was, uh, was pretty potent for me. It's still. I mean, they're still cold enough that like I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm awake. Uh, okay, I need to take a right. Woo! Feel that wind! It's pretty great. A frozen hat. That could work.
It is pretty amazing how, I mean, I feel like, for the most part, the, the marathon has gotten, like, I've had more stamina, I've, I've had more energy at the end of the marathon each year compared to years before. There was that one off year two years ago when I just got a horrible night of sleep and... But... I'm... I feel like I'm ending strong again this year. And I was ending pretty strong last year, but I think I'm ending stronger this year because of these dumb socks. <laughs> wait, am I going the wrong way? I might be. Oh wait, no, wait. Which way? Okay, sharp right. Sharp right. There we go. Why are you saying my... I don't understand. Why are you saying my goal is over there? Oh, crap. I was looking at the wrong thing, dang it. I thought I was supposed to go here. Ugh. I guess I'll go to this quest. Dang it. Uh, can we dock somewhere? While in conflict? I'm not in conflict. Who am I in conflict with? Let me get out of the boat. There we go. No sharks, right? Please, no sharks. What's up? Talk. Oh, thank the gods you came. What happened? Where's the rest of your crew? Pirates! They killed most of us, but they took my brother. Please, you must help. A knit cap. I'll send you one since you probably don't own one. No, we, uh, we do have something like that around here. We do take trips to Pennsylvania, so... <laughs> There's something like that in our house. Uh, show me the money. I'm not about to risk my neck or ship for some sailor's brother. Unless, of course, there's Drachmi involved. I'm not a sailor, I'm a carpenter. So is my brother. Our father taught us. Interesting. Our ship could use a carpenter. I've worked as a shipwright. Repaired hulls with holes the size of Poseidon's feast. Please, save my brother. And I'll join your crew. Then it's a deal. Oh. We'll find these pirates and rescue your brother. Is this a naval quest? Do I have to fight them at sea? I'm not gonna finish this quest if I have to fight them at sea. Okay. I am going to see the Oracle. Because Morpheus told me I am the one. Oh, go away, you dumb photos. I don't want to see photos. No photos. <sighs> okay. 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Oh. My gosh. It's always really something at the end here.
but I'll have to remember the socks and my stamina potions, which really uh, worked well for me. Did not upset my stomach and gave me the power I needed. Hey, there's a horsey. You gonna be my new horsey? Here we go, horsey. What's in the portions? Oh, you mean the potions? <laughs> well, I suppose we're at the end of the marathon now, so I can give away my secret. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of keeping it a mystery, but um, no, it's um, it's a uh, it was a flavored carbonated water drink. Um, like a zero calorie aspartame, so not great for me at all. Uh, orange cream flavored drink that I've kind of come to like and uh, and then just a, a cut in half um, caffeine pill that was ground up with a mortar and pestle that my uh, that my wife has um, and then uh, you know mixed in together and so the the yellow coloring was completely the caffeine pill because the, the drink itself was clear and I thought it was so cool because it it was yellow, and like yellow is the color of the stamina bar in like the the Souls games and other a number of other games that use stamina as a stamina meter, and so to have a yellow potion for stamina, perfect. But no, it was just caffeine pills which I took last year. I don't. I think I took more caffeine pills last year than I did this year. I just took the equivalent of. Basically, two cups of coffee. Each of each half of a caffeine pill is worth one cup because uh, single pills were two cups of coffee. So, and it was you know actually probably three quarters of a pill. So, it was kind of like drinking two cups and a half, mugs and a half, or whatever of coffee uh, through the marathon. So, pretty good, you know, not a crazy amount. And I didn't have to taste coffee. <laughs> hey, good luck with that. This way, horsey! Wait, what are you doing? Here, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, okay. This is where we part ways, horsey. Oh, come on now. Here we go. Ooh, let's climb the tower. Wow, John, you drink about eight cups of coffee a day? Is that like literal cups or like, do you mean like mugs of coffee? Either way, that sounds like intense. I hope this oracle gives better news than the one in Sparta. Thirty minutes. Or twenty-nine, actually. Less. Less. 
Oh my gosh. I'm a little surprised that that this is the game that I've been playing during the hardest hours because it's such Ubisoft games, these open world games are are so kind of groovy, you know, you can just really get into a groove. They're not necessarily intense. But I think I'm just digging this world. I just dig roaming around these open worlds. And Ubisoft makes their worlds so well that the sound design, the the visuals are nice, of course, too, but I really connect with the sound design. And I think of that gameplay, man. I, I spent a lot of time with, um, when the stream was offline, I spent a lot of time in uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. The videos won't stay up for long, but uh, if you want to watch me during my most kind of insane loopy hours, you should watch the hour or two just before uh, <laughs> you came on, John. <laughs> Man, I was I was pretty far gone. <laughs> Mugs, okay, wow, yeah. Cassandra, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpino? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just the simple Yeah, right. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. You weren't lying. <clears throat> it is the spear of your fears. Uh, I may have mentioned you. I would appreciate your showing a bit more secrecy. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... It... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple... All things that are more than they appear. <laughs> Even I. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. Mm. That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, one of us. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? That's right. Let's do it. All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is she not every bit as great as I said? I'm pretty swell. Oh, don't show me a load screen. That's gonna get me down. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Good choice. Light that illuminates shadow. Choose 
Use your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker. One question, huh? Uh, where's my mother? I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! The child on the mountain! You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through? <sighs> You didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of cosmos? The oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers. Am I gonna fight now? What's up? No, guess not. The Robotos. You're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. She's the Pythia. Whew. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. Hmm. Child hasn't stood on a mountain. I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you. She knew who I was. <laughs> what have <laughs> done? She tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to their field. But they paid them no mind. Now the Pythia seemed afraid of them. The guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia, Devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. Uh, I'm gonna find her. Find where the Bithia lives, and I will get answers. Da -da. And don't forget. Brute force is useless when the ness is required. Okay. I gotta go somewhere and do something. Uh, the socks are still wet, John. Um, they're not freezing anymore. They're basically just kind of like cold, wet socks. Uh, I need to go somewhere. Come on now. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Jeez, the last 30 minutes. It crawls, it crawls. Crawls on its belly. Um, the truth will out. The truth will out. The truth will out. Snake in the grass. The truth will out. Let's do this one. Go get her. Go get her. Where is she? I guess we're going this way, but should I collect a quest here? I guess I will. Sorry. Ah, Mistios. Well, I'm due a sight to my aged eyes. 
young, energetic. Oh, this. I saw this quest in some kind of a thing. Um, yeah, not that kind of mercenary. That's not my line of work. Oh, forgive me. I'm amazed the gods would send me someone so well suited to help me, but who is also so appealing to me physically. I'm glad to hear it. Korigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls and ecstasy would echo throughout the valley. Good gravy. By the gods, woman! I said spare me the details. I wasn't expecting a tough-looking mercenary to be so squeamish about a little fun. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. Uh, sure, I'll find your ingredients. I'll find the ingredients. If you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Karagos will be thankful also. Ugh. Hey, Reed. Thanks for saying hi. You're right, I'm almost, almost there. Almost there. So close. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. All right. Was there another quest here? Another quest giver? Not that I'm gonna find right now. Go to the quest marker. My tummy feels a little weird. Try not to think about it. Try not to think about it. Where's Horsey? Where's Horsey? Come on, Horsey, there we go. Come on, Horsey. Come on, Horsey, let's get into some trouble. Let's get into some trouble, horsey. Oh! Okay, well, I'm not looking to fight. I'm just being adventurous with horsey. Oh, boy. Alright, what do we got here? The Oracle is hiding inside. Have to finally get some answers. Let's go get that Oracle. Yeah! She can't hide from me. Oh, maybe she can. I gotta get past these guys. Let's go hide in the weeds. Oh, hey, people. New mercenary discovered. Oh, no, there's a mercenary in there. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Holy cannoli. Holy cannoli. I could close my eyes right now and just be gone. And just be gone. I could just close my eyes. Close my eyes. Be gone right now. This is happening right now. <laughs> <sighs> Mm, 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 mm. I'm not even sure what I can do here. I don't know if I could kill a mercenary. That's a lot of protection for the Pythia.
Yes, it is. I should try to thin the herd. for using the net. Uh, Reed Benson says, not sure how you get your sleep schedule back to normal after one of these things. Um, well, I just go to sleep, and sleep for usually five or six hours, it's not quite like a real full night of good sleep, and then and then I'm up for the afternoon and evening, and then go to sleep again, and uh, it usually works out. I might feel a little off on Monday, and, you know, later today won't feel really right, um, but uh, usually just, uh, you know, by Tuesday I'm pretty much feeling pretty normal. Oh, John. I'm sorry, man. Are, have your meds kicked in yet? That's the mercenary, isn't it? Oh no, he's going back the other way. Oh, they're both there? I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can get them both. I thought you were talking about you, John. Like, when you said, if I could close my eyes forever, like, you're in so much pain, you want to die. Oh, jeez, that's the mercenary. Dang, that didn't work.
It's me. Come on, keep me busy till I'm done here. All right, well, if you're not gonna come to your death, then walk the other way for me. That's right, just like that. At least I got a head start. Oh my gosh, this dog is on me! Oh, I'm gonna die. What the crap? That's not cool. Alright, I'm leaving. Didn't know he had some super dog. Oh, that dog is still coming. Good gravy. Whew. All right, is there something else I can do for like seven minutes or whatever it is I have left? <laughs> oh, can I enjoy this rain for a minute at least? Ooh, what's there that I can loot? I'll loot that. That's nice. Good gravy. Ugh. Oh, boy. Ooh. Is there anything else nearby I can go explore? Let's check out this place. Let's find out what this location is. Yeah, John, that dog totally had my scent. That was really disturbing how it jumped on me and was just, like, hanging on to me. It was, it was nuts. Oh, Prometheus and the birthday. That's weird. Okay. So what else we got? What else is nearby here? Oh, so it's like a... Some tablet loot treasure... What was the, what were the levels of these guys? That's something I can take on right now. These guys are level 11s. I could maybe take on this location. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. Especially if that dude's gonna be sleeping there. Treasure! Two treasures! There's one. I should do a wrap-up for the last five minutes. 
Yeah, I mean, I could spend a couple minutes doing a wrap up at the end. I don't think I could. I don't. I don't. I don't think five. I'd really have to stretch it out. My wrap ups for this are usually pretty short. <laughs> But, hey, we got three minutes left. Just completed a location. I'll save the game. If it'll let me. Quick save, come on. No? No quick save? Were you thinking? Did you need to do something for a minute here, game? Oh, I gotta get out of the danger zone. Out of the danger zone. There we go. Now can I quick save? There we go. Quick save. Yes. <laughs> hey Tim. Welcome back. So cool to end the stream with the uh... Oh, take these off my ears at last. So good to end the stream with you guys here. Thank you so much for your support and cheering me on and uh, keeping me in good humor, uh, especially at the end here when it's been rough, but, uh, um, I've, I ended, I feel like I ended strong, you know, um, stronger maybe even the, yeah, stronger even than last year, you know, uh, it was, all things considered, it was a good stream, it was, it was better than last year, you know, I, this, the stream still fell apart and broke down for, uh, but it, it broke down for less time than last year, and it, without an interruption in the middle of the afternoon that I had to go troubleshoot and buy a new modem and router, I mean, like, I lost two hours, two and a half hours of streaming in the afternoon last year before I canceled the rest of the whole stream at 7 o'clock, and uh, this time it was good up until 8.30, and then it conked out until I want to say like 3:30 or 4, you know, so definitely an improvement. <laughs> and I'm I'm still optimistic. I guess that that we've narrowed down the problem. The guy the the guy that serviced our internet came, did some stuff and he said, "Okay, now your internet situation at your home is perfect. If you have further problems, it's something exterior to your home, you know." And so uh, he can push it up the chain or whatever. And so yeah, I'm I'm confident we'll lick this thing. I also had a plan B um, that uh, I think, uh, you know, was was a good option to have rather than just doing what I did last year and, and being offline altogether. So if you guys want to go back, you can see the hours that you missed, except for, I think, the maybe from 3 to 4 or from 2 to 3. I can't remember. There's one hour in there that's not going to be up there. But uh, anyway... Um, yeah, the the fundraising went well. We surpassed our team goal, which I'm really happy about. Um, always great to see that. And uh, and yeah, I I just I just despite the you know the the downsides, I'm happy with how it turned out. I think uh, God was moving in it all, and uh, uh, even in the 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 things that that seem to not go right, as I remind myself repeatedly, things go different more often than they go wrong. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you guys for just uh, being a part of all this with me. Um, and thank you to everyone who donated. Thank you to uh, all the members of the, of the Christian Geek Central Extra Life team. Um, another really great year, guys. Thank you all so much. All right, that's it. I'm signing off. I'm going to go sleep. And yet, I am oddly still, uh, will probably be in the mood to play video games sometime today after I wake up. <laughs> we'll see. I'm more in the mood, actually, to snuggle up with my boys and my wife. That sounds really nice right now. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We've got a ton going on here at Spirit Blade Productions and Christian Geek Central, including our in-depth Bible study for geeks, movie, game, and other entertainment reviews or commentary, live streams, Christian geek news, original audio dramas, and tons more. And on top of all that, you can become a Spirit Blade insider with an influential voice and get access to exclusive content and rewards. It's your involvement as a patron that will keep all of this going and growing. So I want to thank you 
you for your consideration in that. For more information, please check out our Patreon page through the link below at patreon.com slash spiritbladeproductions. Thanks for listening.